Hey guys, so I hate to do this to you twice because I'm about to talk when the video starts, but I want to say real fast that I started adding to the description a secret link. It's going to be to a family friendly website that's either educational or funny. And also I'm going to add a recommended channel. I'm not asking anybody to subscribe to the channel. Just go check them out. If you enjoy what they're doing, definitely subscribe. But either way, tell them that Dutch Creek Cabin sent you. Alright, let's get in the video. Hey guys, well first I want to thank everybody for coming over to my channel. Jeff, I really appreciate you giving me a shout out. And uh, I appreciate all the kind words and all the love that you guys have shared. And uh, some cool stories. And uh, a lot of people that really enjoy the old cars. And that's kind of my thing. And I like to hear about people's old cars. So uh, I really appreciate you guys. And uh, I can't say thank you enough to all of you and to Jeff. Uh, my mom called me and she said that her cane that she usually walks with is... Uh, not really working out for her very well and she asked me could I make her a walking stick I've actually been saving this one for a while I found it um, a beaver actually chewed it off and then I found it and I collected it one day on a hike so I figured this would be a good stick to do so I'm just gonna shave it down I'll bring you guys in every once in a while just to see the progress and uh, yeah oh yeah also I'm gonna bundle up because I'm really cold so please don't judge me for my attire for the next uh, couple minutes. I'm tired, I'm restless, I've already said this. I might need a medic, I'm trapped in these mornings without you. These mornings without you, yeah. I'm more than just nervous with walls on the surface I know that you've heard this I just want a morning here with you A morning here with you Alright guys, so I got everything shaved down with my knife, then I went to 60 grit sandpaper. Unfortunately I don't have anything between that and this, but now I'm going to go to a 220. I got it shaved down pretty good, so I think it's going to do alright. I'm going to start with small pieces, that way I can make sure to not tear up my sandpaper too much. But uh, yeah, so we're, now we're just going to run on it with the 220 for a little bit. This 220, it really makes it smooth. I mean, it's baby butt smooth. So I figured that I was just gonna do a pretty simple design. I got a feather that I found one day when I was hiking. So I'm just gonna kind of mock it up. All right, so I just drew out a rough sketch. I'm gonna cut this out and then I'm just going to outline the outside of the paper that I cut out. Alright guys, here's what I cut out. I actually already drew it on there, but I don't like where it's at, so I'm going to redraw it. I want it right here. Alright, I think that location looks a lot better. Down here it kind of looked like a candy cane. I really didn't like how it was wrapping around, so... We're gonna do this top one, and don't worry that uh, that pin will sand right out. So, all right, guys. So I got the bit on here. We're ready to go. I'm basically just gonna take this and trace out this whole design. You show me I'm worth it. No one is perfect. We all have a purpose. So this is the bit that I used to start the original outline and now we're going to go to a round bit and this is going to just help clean up the lines. Alright guys, so 
So now that I've got my design laid in there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna dig all this out a lot deeper. What happens is whenever you first lay it down, then you're gonna have to come back over it and sand it. Once you come back over and sand it, you're gonna remove a lot of material. Just lay your design out really lightly. That way, if you don't like it, you can go back with sandpaper and remove it. Once you feel comfortable, dig that thing in there. All right, it looks kind of plain, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this leaf. I just went out and found it outside, so I'm gonna just put it right there. All right, guys, so it kept looking a little plain to me, and it probably would have helped once I put color in, but I just started adding. I added a leaf, I brought you guys in for that, and then I added an arrowhead. Well, I'm hoping I don't regret this, but instead of painting the designs, I'm going to try to burn them. And I, what I was going to do is paint the designs, stain the stick, and then poly the whole thing, but I'm going to try to burn it, so let's see how it goes. Alright guys, I know it's kind of hard to see from here, but um, we got the stick finished. I still need to spray it with polyurethane, but I'm going to wait a couple days and I want to get this video out. So, uh, right here you can see we started with the feather, and then here's the leaf, and here's the arrowhead. I'm going to give you guys a close up, but I just wanted to show you it. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Say night night. Oh, yeah. no one can find us under the